entry uh, site, this old temple of uh, Apollo here. Pretty close to the sea there. In this area between the theater and the temple at a higher level, a terrace was investigated and supported by vortices on its north and east and uh, days, special occasions, emergencies, whatever. Much left to see on this side of the street. I think it's on the other side here. Or let's see, the first is down this way. Christian buildings and structures. The expansion of the Christianity probably put an end to the cult of Apollo Erethemios. Cult practices, however, continued in this area during the 4th century AD among the early Christian buildings erected at the site using the mainly ancient building material. A baptizerian is a remarkable figure, Ain. Oh, yeah. I think we just saw that over there. Wow, fourth century, large number of skull and bones in the Tesmatic in the early century. He's right there. Turkey's around the other side. You see him windsurfing down there. And here is this early Christian settlement. Once the cult of Apollo, Arithamios. Here's the other side of the street. Oh wow. It's a more elaborate uh, situation here. Oh wow, it's a temple of that. Uh, deity of theirs. Four hundred BC. Oh wow. Wow, so it even goes back to eight hundred, six hundred BC. Amazing. building their new house right next to it. Pretty wild. Uh, 
Uh, there you have these same sort of slabs again with, you know, something on the left side, something on the right side. Interesting. old uh, pipage drainage Clearly not much left, but the foundation is here. It's pretty amazing for something 400, 600 BC. Just think if there's ever a place for a snake to live, it'd be on the old temple of Apollo, right? Look at that. A whole bunch of uh, snake skin back in here. Pretty wild. Don't want to meet him. Probably lurking down these, these holes somewhere. Must be a couple of them. Well, it's enough of Apollo's uh, den. At least the Christians took over, huh? Yeah?